Hey guys, looks like Marie's available today. I think we're gonna hang out with Marie. Huh? Here, come on, let's go somewhere. Seems like Marie wants to go out. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, Marie. Well, definitely, where do you wanna go? Big city. Okay. Bunch of things to do there. Here we could uh, catch a train and go to Okina City. Yeah. Okina City, in front of Okina Station. You brought Marie here by train to satisfy her curiosity. Oh. So this is the city. Hmm. Weird. It's a funny place, wide yet narrow. It's gray and full of squares. Hey, what do you do in the city? Uh, I mean, you mean people watch? I see. Okay, so you brought me here to look at humans. Is that fun? But you're human, and I watch you all the time. You, you, you do? Oh, hey! Huh? It's, uh, Chie and Yukiko. Oh, Yukun? Oh, and Marie-chan. Hello, um, is she your friend? Yeah. Oh, that's right, you haven't met her before, huh? She's Marie-chan. I had lunch with her once. Oh, yeah, this is Yukiko Amagi. She's our friend. Friend. If she's someone you know, then she must not be from around here, right? Did she come from the big city? Oh, I get it. So that's why you're here in Okina City, huh? There's diddly squat to do where we live, right? Yeah, I know. And a red one today. What are green and red to a year? <laughs> green and red? Green and red? Huh. <laughs> I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? I didn't say it was bad. You guys look good in those colors. Uh, thanks. I didn't think it was a compliment. She's a nice girl. No doubt about that. But red girl's all red. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? Uh, to the point as ever. But she's right. Nope. That's not what I meant. It's just, it's a waste. Humans can change their clothes. You should be, you should try wearing other colors. Is that so? I don't really pick out my own outfits. Oh, I know. Uh, we were just on our way to get some new clothes. Why don't you come with us, Yukun? Uh, you too, Marie-chan. Yeah, sounds like a great day. Great time. Let's go do it. Chie, they might already have plans on their own. Don't assume they can just come along in a moment's notice. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Huh? I don't mind. Alright then, let's get going. Oh. It's like we have been kidnapped, guys. Okina Station. Coco... Croco Fur? Okay. Chie and Yukiko were having fun while looking for clothes. Come on! Hey, how's this shirt? Don't you think it's a good color? Chie is holding a green shirt. Uh... I mean, that that's green. It's green, Chie. Yeah, it is. Huh? What? You're right! Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? Marie-chan, what's your favorite color? Don't tell me. Blue, right? I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? Yukiko has a crimson skirt in her hands. That's that's uh, definitely an eye-catching color. It's eye-catchingly red. I see. So wearing a single color isn't in. I like to keep things simple. Yes. Thank you. I'll try exploring. Away with simplicity. Away with simplicity. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. Oh. How about this? Does this say me? Green again. Do you look at the green hey. shoes? How about this one? Oh wait, with simplicity. There's too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. This skirt's cute. It would go with well with. How's this? She collects a yellow shirt and blue skirt. That that's just green with more steps. At least it's not green. W wait, yellow and blue make green, right? Uh, maybe you're right. Uh, maybe it's some kind of instinct. You're not doing it on purpose? Oh, what a great, what a great time. 
Chieg, you can go finish those shopping and return to the station with you. Hmm. Why were they out of stuff in my size? It can't be helped. Let's go back sometime later. They might have some new inventory by then. Hey, why don't we all go together, then? The four of us. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a great time. Why? Huh? Me, me too? Why? Huh? Uh, why? Because we're friends. Really? Friends? We are? Since when? Wait, did you have fun? Was I bothering you today? And last time, too? Huh? No, you weren't bothering me. I was just asking why you said friends. What does it mean to become friends? Marie has questions. Hmm. Well, I don't really know the meaning of friendship. Um... Uh, I mean, there's definitely meaning. Hmm. Yeah, I believe there is meaning. There are things you can't do by yourself that you can do together with others. Like today, we had you help us choose our clothes. I don't get it. After all... I almost forgot, there's a DVD I wanted. Let's hurry, it'll sell out. It's a kung fu movie, right? I doubt it'll sell out. Enough talk, come on everybody, hustle! Kind of fun to hang out with our friends. Huh? Me too. Uh yeah, let's hurry. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's not like I don't want to go though. Marie seems perplexed, but not against the idea. Hey. Those two are persona users, right? They're chasing after the truth with you, huh? You can't do that on your own, but you can do it together because you're friends. It seems Marie is wondering about what Yukiko said. You feel like you understand Marie a bit more now. Ranked up our Aeon uh, Arcana to rank 3. Awesome. Hey, pick it up, you two. Move, move, move. See ya. After looking around Ogina City with everyone, you escorted Marie back to the boat room. Uh, bye, Marie. A fun day hanging out with all our friends. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. It's like Nanako's available, but veggies. I absolutely want to harvest the veggies. Just planted some cabbage seedlings. All right, guys. Uh, maybe Nanako, maybe somebody else. Let's figure out what we're doing. Hey, uh, it looks like Adachi is available. Uh, I've seen him at night a couple of times, but I haven't been able to hang out with him. Uh, I wonder why that is. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be hanging out with Adachi tonight. Oh. Hey, Adachi, what's going on, man? Seems to be on his way home from work. Yeah, let's uh, let's hang out with Adachi. <laughs> the Jima song will be on your ass, you know. Uh. I knew it. Stores out here closed too soon. I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something, but then I got lazy. Oh, I feel that, man. This is bad. What should I do? I have tons of Nimono at home. Oh, why, Toru-chan? How is work? Are you still working hard? <laughs> uh, uh, hi, hi, yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young, you need to eat up. Would you like to come to my house? I'm making your favorite, Nimono. Uh, uh today I've got, uh... Oh, that's right, I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. He's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. Haha, <laughs> maybe next time. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, next time then. Good night. <sighs> she really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really like her Nomoto anyways. The Lotus root, of, root is too tough. Uh, uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. Uh... Uh, you, you, yeah, man, you want to come over for real? I can actually, like, make you dinner huh? at Dojima-san's. Well, isn't that a generous offer? Looking at you in surprise. But Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does it mean it'll just be us? Isn't that weird? Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a pretty good cook, man. Really? You're seriously inviting me over? You don't think it'd be awkward? Looking at us like we're a rare breed. Well, I am interested to see what you're like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. Uh, yeah, what kind of what kind of student were you when you were in high school, Adachi? I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades really mattered. 
I didn't mind, though. You get back as much as you put in. Everyone knows that. My parents didn't really care what else I did, as long as my grades were good, too. But that works out when you're a student. Uh, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not enjoying yourself now? <laughs> I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. And that she gives a tired smile. But, I guess lately, things have been fun. It's nice to know there's something I'm good at. <laughs> this is embarrassing. It seems Adachi seems to be working hard solving the case. Yeah, we, uh... Oh! Uh, I didn't think it was actually gonna rank up. Oh, great. Uh, rank three with the Jester. Sweet. Oh, we are talking about dinner. Sorry, not today. Maybe next time. See ya. Uh, I'll just stop by your place on my... Stop, I'll stop by some place on my way back. Make sure you hurry home. Yeah, sure, Adachi. Uh, you have a good night. That's kind of a funny evening. We had the day off from school today. Uh, I don't know what I want to do yet today. Uh, definitely check the shopping network. Uh, I think it's Sunday. Yeah, it is Sunday. Hello? Hey! This is Yukiko. What's going on, Yukiko? Sorry to call you suddenly. Do you have some time to come out today? I want to check the shopping network. But she is inviting me out, so yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll come hang out with you, Yukio. On the flood plane. Oh, she made food. Homemade boxed lunch. What a nice um. gesture. Came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. It looks normal. Mm. For some reason, there's an unusually pungent smell hanging in the air. Uh, yeah, let's, let's eat. Go ahead. She's looking at us expectantly. It's you, you have no choice but to eat it. Uh, it started with the omelet looking thing. It's actually so. There's something too hard to bite on the inside. It smells burnt, yet raw. You worry that your body will eject the foreign matter. You were finally able to swallow it. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? Yukiko looks sad. Uh, there. I mean, there is. There's always next time. I suppose. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh, big What are you bro. doing, Nanako? Hey. Ah, Nanako-chan. I was just having to try my box lunch. Ooh, I want some. Oh, Nanako, I couldn't possibly let you die eating this. I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's not good. Oh, if you make a good one, will you let me have some? Sh sure, if you want. Oh. Heck yeah! See, Nanako is always so supportive. Ah, Nanako-chan. Thank you. I'll do my best, okay? Y you, you gotta do your best now, Nanako. Nanako is expecting you to do your best. Bye, Nanako. My chan's house. Bye. Must be one of her uh, her school friends. Be careful. Ah, not a go. Best. I'm sorry to drag you. Oh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry to drag you around. Uh, I mean, I'm. I'm having fun. R really? I'm glad to hear that. You can sense that Yukio is relying on you. Yeah, and our relationship's grown deeper. Great. Hanging out with our friend Nanako, uh, hanging out with, with Nanako and, and Yukiko. Oh, great, great day today. I'm glad we answered that phone call. Looks like she learned Divine Grace. Okay, so it's gonna make all of her healing magic better. I think I'm gonna get rid of Augie. Uh, I do have Augie Lao, so I don't really need to keep it. Wow, that's a actually really good passive ability. Only about a year left, huh? Need to be able to do anything on my own by then. Mm. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, you have a good rest of your day, Yukiko. You're back. Hey, Dojima. Oh, oh but Dojima is a favorite. I don't. All right, guys. Uh, I almost started this event without uh, having a matching persona, hey. but yeah, we're gonna be hanging out with Dojima today. I feel it may be a good idea to improve his social link a little bit. 
Hey. Hey, uh, I was just thinking about making some coffee. All we got is instant, though. How do you take it? Uh, with cream and sugar, like I take my coffee in real life, I guess. <laughs> you have the same taste as Nanako, because she's the best. Dojima looks like he's having fun. Dad! The news is starting. Oh, coffee. Can I have some? Sure thing. Plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nanako. Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Uh, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. I make a damn good coffee. Oh, man, after my own heart right there. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. She said, this is all I have to do around the house. Nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's habit now. Dojima looks a bit embarrassed. Okay. Yeah, we saw an unexpected side of him today. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, rank four with the Hierophant. This is the only promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyways, sit over there. Uh, sure, man. You watch TV together. And now, our next story. The outskirts of Okina today, a woman bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene. Now I'm gonna turn, turn the TV off. Oh, okay. Mm. I wonder what that was about. Uh, you okay, Nanako? Um. It was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. Oh. Huh. I don't remember it, and Dad won't talk about it. Nanako looks lonely. Poor Nanako. Aw, oh, man. That's so sad. Today is the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser. Okay, so we got uh, all the optional outfits for the TV world uh, for the summer version. Cool. I was already wearing the uh, winter version in the TV world. You overhear students talking. Uh, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. So refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I hear there's going to be less rain than there was last year. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it's still going to be raining a lot. It's still the rainy season, so. Ah, oh, maybe one of our social links is ready to rank up. Um. You can. Can you spare me some time today? There's somewhere I want to go. Is that all right? Okay, uh, so I guess it's kind of like locking us into Yukiko after lunch. Uh, I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't spend time with Yukiko. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good time. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you after school. Good afternoon! Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and heat. But don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold... Mold? Uh, okay. Uh, lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. The lactic acid they produce guards against mold. That's why foods containing lactic acid bacteria don't get very moldy. Your bodies also produce lactic acid when you exercise. Alright, Narakami. Tell me what kind of exercise builds up lactic, lactic acid in the muscles. Uh, that, that's anaerobics. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's right. Anaerobic exercise, like strength training, builds lactic acid in muscles. And aerobic exercise, such as jogging, uses lactic acid as energy, so it's hard to build up. Alright, now that you've learned about lactic acid, everyone do 10 dashes. Time for some anaerobic exercise. If you produce lactic acid with anaerobic exercise, your body will be clean and mold-free. Uh, th thanks, Mr. Mr. Kondo. Free knowledge point, always appreciated. Looks like classes have ended for today. Yeah, uh, I think we're hanging out with Yukiko, right? Yeah. Junus Food Court. I've never seen this the food court from this angle before. 
Uh, notebooks, three colors of pen, loose leaf folder, labels at the stationery department. Then the furniture department, I want to look at desks, those in the lamps. Uh, can, can, uh, what, what is, what is all this for, Yukiko? <laughs> Studying. You need all that stuff to study? He's very full of energy today. I'm thinking about studying seriously for a job license. Though, I haven't decided exactly which one I'll pursue. But I was thinking of trying for all the ones I feel I can earn. Uh, that's a lot of job licenses, Yukiko. I started working at night, you see. Remember the job you told me about? Yeah, the, uh, the envelope folding job. Thanks to that, I have some money. Huh. Well, if it isn't the manager of the Amagi Inn. Or should I say, the manager to be. I see you haven't gone home yet. Well, I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Stuck here with nothing to do. Man, the countryside is the dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down sweet deals is part of country life too, is it? <laughs> what the fuck is that guy talking about? I'm sorry. Uh, it's no problem, Yukiko. Uh... I mean, I, I want to know what that was about. Those people from a TV station, they wanted to cover the Among Yin. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, you, you said no? Uh, uh, yeah. Yukiko seems embarrassed. It's a news of the weird show. It isn't real journalism. Okay. They want to know where an in was associated with Miss Yamano's murder, right? They want to make a special called Hot Springs Getting Too Hot for the Amagis. It was an abhorrent title. Mother turned them away. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely think that isn't good. But maybe she shouldn't have declined. I mean, if it gets a bad reputation, we'd lose customers. The inn really closed its doors. I mean, you say that, but it doesn't look like that's what you really want or feel. Then I feel better about leaving. I mean, are you are you serious? You can't be serious. I'm serious. You can muttered darkly. But you're right, there's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. Life is in my hands now. And of course, I want to help everyone. <laughs> you too, for sitting being such a patient listener all the time. You can sense Yukiko's iron will. BAM! Rank five! Uh, Alright, so she can also has a chance to cure status ailments. Again, would have been really useful in the last boss fight. Uh, well, let's go shopping. First is the stationery department. She's gonna make me carry all, right, all that stuff. Okay, okay, she didn't make me carry all that stuff back home. Good. Bye, Yukiko. Seems like Yukiko has been monopolizing a lot of our time lately. Hey, Dojima, how's, how's it going? Uh, be right back, guys. Figure out what we're doing. Uh, phone call? Hey, Yosuke, what's going on, man? Uh, so like you, Yosuke wants to go into the TV tomorrow. Uh, I mean, we we might do that. I doubt it, but yeah, that's that's why I came with my room was to check the home shopping program. Uh, because I, I actually missed it. Uh, shopping program. Ah, so great. A uh, fire suppressor. Uh, I don't really care about that. Well, my life's really good. I don't know what curse paper does. Uh, definitely gonna get the bomb of life combo. Uh, I don't. I don't care about the fire suppressor at all. I already have something very similar to that. Which I, I believe all it does is increases your evasion or makes you take like 10% less damage from fire. So. All right, guys. So just kind of give you a quick preview of all the times I end up closing the screen and then walk literally everywhere in town. Um, I Generally what happens is I'll open up my stats screen, figure out like, hey, this needs to be ranked up. Uh, so right now our diligence and our understanding are kind of lagging behind the rest of our social stats. And I know that there's a job I can get if my diligence is a little higher. So I think we're going to make some origami cranes, cranes tonight. I feel like that'd be a good use of our time. So yeah, I, I really want to finish this bundle. <laughs> I wonder if you even can. Uh, you decide to make cranes. Hmm. Carefully, precisely fold cranes for a person you've never met. Yeah, some more understanding. Oh, I thought it was diligence. Oh, no. 
Uh, probably a persistent boy this time. I really thought it was diligence. I guess we get a free item if we complete the bundle. Well, I mean, our understanding is important too. I just didn't realize. Oh. You overhear students talking. I guess we have to make envelopes for diligence. There's no other way. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Ah, right. Okay, so the camp out's next weekend. That's cool. It's going to be all work. I'm not going to have any fun at all. Uh, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas how to get out of this. I don't know why everybody's, like, so upset about the, the school trip. I mean, yeah, picking up trash is, like, kind of a, like, taxing day. And maybe it's boring for some people, but, like, it's an important thing to do. Alright, guys, uh, let's figure out what we're doing today. Alright, guys, after much deliberation, I think we're gonna ride our scooter today. Uh, I mean, I don't know... Hmm... I don't know which one of these options is more important. Let's take a long ride. Okay, so we have to get a feel for where we're at before we can ride around. So yeah, let's let's take the scooter for a ride. After getting completely lost, you reach the station. But you feel as though you're starting to get a feel for the place. You need to ride around a little bit more to get better acquainted with the area. Oh, okay, we got some courage for uh, riding our bike. That's pretty dope. I like courage. It's a great stat. Manico is watching TV, TV today, as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. Uh, I mean, what do you want to watch, Nanako? Nanako looks bored. Might as well try a magic trick. Nanako is watching curiously. You decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band around your index middle finger, and you hook it on your ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? You open up your hand, you close tightly. The rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring and pink pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. I saw it. It went like zoom. Aw, dang. Do it again. <laughs> One more time. Okay. She seems delighted anyways. Oh, Nanako. Okay. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Ah, what a great time. Hang on, Nanako. Hmm, fun day today. Yo! Hey, Yosuke, what's going on, man? Can't wait to hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. It's my very own. Just like I've been dreaming about. I've been a Cloud9 all morning. Oh, that's awesome, man. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin to Okina after school? You know, uh, you once promised you would. Uh, uh, when, when did I, yeah, when did I promise we were going out? Don't tell me you forgot. You know, let's, let's use our motorcycles to hit on City Girls' plan. That was, that was your plan. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. Oh, uh, Yosuke. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to wind up the lazy-ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send home anyone who brings down that morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... So tell me, Hanamura. You seem to be lacking in morals. Damn it, King Moron. I thought I knew, but now I'm doubting myself. Sorry, you... Can you tell me what morale is? Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's like the cheerfulness of a group, right? Pretty sure. That was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Narakami? Anyways, yes, morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. You remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale and their morals. Maybe that'll happen to you if you keep living lives of low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. God, this, this guy. Thanks, you. Uh, I don't want to think, I don't want to think what happened, what he'd say if I missed it. Yeah, three points with Kyosuke, some expression. Oof. Oh, yeah, we, uh, I guess we're going to straight, straight to Okina City. 
Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, I mean, it's not super far, right? He actually followed us all the way here. Damn. Huh. That was a breeze. I am so impressed. Also, he's wearing a helmet, and that is important. That you always wear your helmet when you're on a bicycle. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. <laughs> If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. What's run out of gas for? I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there... Was this craft shop? Yeah, man. Go, you go take care of whatever you want to take care of. It, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Yeah, man. You're good. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit. So you guys get started without me. All right, man. Then why did he come with us? I mean, he wanted to come to the craft shop. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Uh, do I really have to do this? Uh, you decided to wait here for a while. The early summer sunlight feels nice. Nice, warm, sunny. Three hours passed. The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No, you get man. No luck, huh? Uh, no. Not, not, not at all. This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. I, I want to go home, Yosuke. Uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Mm -hmm. Is it... Is it my fault? Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. Oh. Oh, thanks, Yosuke. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. I mean, I like my scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I feel like Yosuke read a magazine, got really excited, and then came up with this entire plan. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. Uh, what? This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah, how else would I fix this? You would hit on girls for me, Kanji? Wow, what a bro. Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. <laughs> Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? I could Even do it. Instant ramen takes five minutes to I make. I could do it. Now I'm a brave boy. My Heck yeah, Kanji. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. And? That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. Nope, I got this. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Uh, maybe not, maybe not forcefully. Nothing to it. Well... I guess there's nothing to lose. No, that's true. That's the spirit, senpai. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's uh, that's the turn of phrase, right? If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko senpai had. Don't don't make bets, cause I'm definitely gonna win this, Kanji. Only girls count for this, all right? Hey, hey, Yosuke, that's on call for. Also, it should be fair if it works either way. You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell, if I'm gonna lose this. Uh-oh. A strange turning events. You three of you are having a pickup contest. 
Oh, I really want to do this. Uh, I, I guess we're I guess we're doing this. All right. Uh, who do we who do we talk to first? Uh, is this this lady here? Neatly dressed girl. View. There's a neatly dressed girl here. Will you talk to her? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'll try to talk to her. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have you do something? Uh, I mean, I came to hit on you. H hit on me? Uh, I'm not used to this. The woman looks embarrassed. Sorry, I'm really nervous. But, um, I can't really explain it. Uh, are you are you all right? Sure, sure. Yeah. It is at times like these one must be at one's calmest. I must regain the balance of my heart, or evil will rush in. Hmm. Ah. The woman started to breathe deeply. Uh, she's a little, uh... Whew. I'm alright now. My soul has been saved through God's intervention. Oh. Are you aware of this? At this very moment, our world is filled with demons and despair. That despair will invade people's souls. Eventually, the world will become a hard and cruel. Illness, accidents, bad luck, all evil in the world stems from despair. I'm sure that your soul's cries for hope are what brought you to me. The woman seems serious. However, you must not fear. There is a path to salvation. If you pray to our God, your soul will be purified and you will be able to live a happy, fulfilled life. The woman's pure eyes gleam at you. The time is now. Go find your happiest place and gain inner joy. Uh, can I... I mean, I gotta ask for her number, right? Like, that's the whole point of the game. It's a cell phone. Ugh. That was a product of human greed. Ugh, she doesn't even have a phone! Ugh. The woman lectured at you for a while. You didn't get her phone number. Uh. Uh. It looks like Yoshi. Can I? Can I talk to the cat? The stray cat laying in the sun. It looks fluffy. I want to pet the cat. Meow. The cat seems to be waiting for your next move. Um. Quietly go near it. Meow. The cat is staring at you. Can I? Can I pat its head? Mew. The cat is narrowing its eyes. It seems to be content. Mew. Ah, oh, kitty. The cat's totally relaxed around me. I feel a sense of contentment. Yes. <laughs> no, we're trying to be picking up girls right now, guys, but we gotta pet the cat. Heck yeah, petted the cat. Uh, alright, uh... What about these, these girls here? Girls are always harder to approach when they're in a group. And that guy tried picking him up with such a loser. His nose piercing made him look like a cow. Uh, that sounds awful. What did he think he was? Think he was eating about beef? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. What the hell? Who are you? Are you hitting on us? He, all, he is kind of cute. We're not doing anything right now, so maybe we can hang out. I haven't seen you around. Where do you live? Uh, I mean, Inaba. Inaba, he says. What a redneck. That's too funny. I heard Inaba is so dead. The farm animal's been taken over. Four legs good, two legs bad. Aha, uh -huh, it's like that book. Let me hear you squeal, country boy. Yeah, don't don't mock Inaba. It's a nice place. The prick, we we're just kidding around. And who made you king of the universe? This is lame. Let's go home. I mean, I didn't get their numbers, but they were kind of jerks. So I'm kind of glad I did get their numbers. Uh, Kanji's talking to that lady. Uh, about this this lady here. Gosh dang it, nothing today again. There's an old woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. Uh, hey, what's going on? Oh, can I help you? You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? Uh. I mean, I'm, I'm a high schooler. Just a stupid kid. Words like fresh face are meant for women like me. If you're under 18 and you're under my limit, go talk to someone else. Women still seem interested in you. You should give up on getting your number. Yeah. This isn't going very well for us. Uh, I was very confident. But, uh, yeah. How about uh, this, this girl here? Uh, hi? See? Uh... Can, can you speak Japanese? We live in a global culture. You ought to be able to speak Spanish. Uh, okay, bye. This is, uh, hmm. Well, I mean, this lady is here. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? What's a cute boy like you want with me? Uh, I'm, I'm here to hit on you. Making a direct approach, I see. Well then, I guess you can have a little of my time. It didn't seem like the one I was waiting for is coming anyways. But I kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. Uh, how do you feel about older women? Uh, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, if they're older, that doesn't mean anything. You, I see when you're young, it's a full of energy. I wouldn't mind spending time with you. Do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I can teach you a lot of grown-up play. Uh, 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 sure. Well, well uh, what do you want to? What do you want to do? Show, show, show me. Uh, okay. Yeah, another day then. Uh, yeah, that's for a number. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 see, I got a number. See, I, I told you guys I could do it. All of you, all of you in the comments, you're all doubting me, but I did it. it. Took more time than expected. You had to meet up with your friends. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. Yeah, man, you got to be like more suave, like me, and awkward. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Oh, nice, dude. Does that count? Uh, I mean, yeah. A girl hit on you. That what did she say? That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? Uh, yeah, don't you don't you don't need that number, Kanji. How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't kiss a tell. Sorry, man. Well, the look on your face says you obviously scored. Is that a cell number? Uh. Damn, Yosuke, for being able to read me so well. What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Uh, I mean, okay. Please. Oh, poor Yosuke. Pretty please. Yeah. Please. Fine, fine. Fine. How many times are you Holy gonna crap. beg? So you're gonna call her, right? Uh, Kanji. Right. Kanji. Guys. Uh, fine, fine. I'll call her. Jeez. She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Uh, hi? You're an unfamiliar man's voice in the other end of the line. Uh, hello? Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. Uh. How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. I am in danger. You better not call again, got it? Yeah, sure, no, no problem. I can hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Uh. Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. At least I got Last the pet cat. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> Of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. That's all you mean. Man, it's it wasn't good at least. easy too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. How how much older, Yosuke? Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Oh, God. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk 
when I suddenly got a phone call? <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Yosuke. But my motorcycle! It was brand new. Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you got to do better than that. She's kind of a jerk. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. I think she's right. Am I cursed? Yes. Did I insult a gypsy or something? Maybe? I mean I don't I don't know. I I we we've only known each other for like a couple months, so. Uh yeah, it's it's definitely a curse, dude. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Oof. Senpai. You fought well. <laughs> I was totally moved by all that. Oh. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I want to die. <laughs> I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. Oh. Okay, so if we get a little bit more experience with our scooter, we should be able to come here uh, in the future. That's kind of cool. Welcome home. Thanks, Donico. Oh yeah, we uh, got those that bomb of life, uh, which will fully res fully heal a character if they're down. So that's great. Oh, another gun's available. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this is a lot longer of an episode than I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.